Hey everyone, this is Man in a Black Hat. And Obsessed Games, hi. And we're back for more Let's Play Skyrim on ResoWalkers.com. And it's time to do disenchanting. Because... Probably my uh, my most rehearsed activity on Skyrim <laughs> in my personal Let's Play. Probably. Just disenchant everything so I know what it does, and then start with the making of basic crap. And then selling that. Yeah, lots of pretty money. much. Well, I do want to Im improve my orcish bow. Frost damage is always nice. That's a decent enchantment, but keep studying. Oh yeah, You've only every little bit surface. helps. Copper and onyx circlets do pretty well with that, and fortify magicka, always nice. I think, um, in terms of if you're specifically trying to earn money, I think fortify health gets you the most money. Ah, but don't call me on that. Well, that was just from personal I could... experience. I could pretty much grind out Fortify Magicka on a whole bunch of stuff. I think they all get you the same experience, depending on... Yeah, it's, um, it's just that Fortify Health is harder for me to get, and Fortify Magicka is right there. Yeah, fair enough. So... No, don't put enchanting. Light armor, soul gem, light armor, gold ring, and there we go. That's all of them. And hey, we got a level out of that. Nice. So let's level up. And stamina is up. Gotta get more sneak. But we can get Eagle Eye now. Sweet. Oh yes, do you do you want to talk about the DLC for Skyrim that's now out? Ah yeah, that that DLC that I'm going to be getting when I can. So yeah. Uh, this I'm not This uh let's play just expanded. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so torn. I really want that DLC, but uh, uh, 1,600 credits, 1,600 Microsoft points. I'm just not sure. I am. It's worth it. Oh no! It was like it a makes single faction werewolf... time, like a faction quest line, right? And then a few other missions in between. It makes werewolves and vampires worth it. <laughs> it gives you an entire vampire quest line. It gives you the, uh, whatever Dawn People quest line. Dawn Guard. The Dawn Guard quest line. And it gives you werewolf abilities. So. Wait, it gives you more werewolf abilities on top you of. You have an entire tree of abilities that you can get just for werewolf. Oh, okay, now I see what you mean. You have an entire tree of abilities you can get just for Vampire. So, I'm still yeah. so torn. What's there to be torn about? My crying, crying wallet. Ah. <laughs> well, guys, you heard him. Donate. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> if you want to donate to him, that's fine. If not, that's also fine. It wouldn't really make sense to donate to me because they'd be getting nothing out what of the are experience. You looking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Mm. Oh, it would make more sense to donate me? to you because Look you're the one place. doing the Let's Play for Skyrim. I'm supposed True. to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the metery in this state... Though if someone I'll does donate, it. I'd probably do a Let's Play just for them. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you just do Dedicated it... Dedicated to them. Heart, Pretty much. 
I hope you're not expecting to be paid until the job's done. I mean, come on, if people are gonna hand me money, I might as well do something nice for them. Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Okay, Sauvignon, go away so I can screw you over. You get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation hey, is Hey, don't care. I bought some poison. Uh, I was going to have my lazy good for nothing so assistant So, as handle it. of this recording, this seems to have Twilight Princess. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever and coming. It should be you. up. Don't come back until Congratulations. Those things are dead. I'd, I'd give you an applause, but I'm I'm just one man. There's no audience <laughs> here to applaud with me. Well, next week Skyward Sword will be completely finished. And I will be done with two Let's Plays right in a row. Which means the only unfinished Let's Plays I will have going into my Enforced Hiatus will be Skyrim and Cave Story. Which all that means is I get to make a bunch of episodes while I'm offline and then do voiceover recording with Obsessed Games for Skyrim once I'm back online. And uh, hopefully I'll have moved by then as well. Yeah, hopefully. So we'll both be in better situations for that. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I know currently I'm only on the one game, but hopefully I can move on to two games. Uh, you'll hear it here first, folks. I'm hoping to do Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Ooh. You know, I've never been one for Let's Play fighting games, but hey, if you can do it, do it, dude. <laughs> Because uh, we all got our specialty here on Rizzo Walkers. Yeah, I noticed that, and it's just like I don't really, I don't really know what my specialty is, to be honest. Neither did I at first. The way I, I mean, the way I figure it, Rizzo does the hardcore, um, the hardcore RPGs. Where it takes a hundred hours minimum to get through, and that's it. Also, seems really like he enjoys the uh, the point and click adventures as well. Yeah, I may do a point and clicky myself at some point, but it probably won't be anything like uh, what Rezo does. Oh, um, yeah. Um, I do know that I will eventually be doing. The Testament of Sherlock Holmes for the site. Oh. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah. that, I'll be doing that on the 360. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm not really, I mean, I know the Sherlock Holmes games have been points and click games, but I don't know how it would work on the 360, if I'm honest. Um, I know that, uh, there's a point and click. Back to the Future game that Rezo's planning to do eventually. If you ever remember? Mm. He's also planning on doing the other Sherlock Holmes games, I think. I have no idea. <laughs> but I do recall he wanted to do that particular game because Back to the Future. Yeah, Back to the Future, man. Who wouldn't want to do that? True. Who wouldn't want to see that? Huh. I plan on getting the Ghostbusters games for the Xbox, mm -hmm. and doing a Let's Play of that. I do not have a plan on who I'm going to be doing that Let's Play with. Well, I mean, but if that you want be, me, <laughs> we'll see. But that will definitely be huge nostalgia factor for me. Oh yeah, I, I mean. I have made it no secret that the Ghostbusters game is my favorite game for the 360. Well, for me, I was around when the first movie came out. Mm, fair enough. I saw the first movie as a kid. I saw the second movie as a kid. I grew up with the real Ghostbusters TV show on Saturday morning. Yeah, I, 
I pretty much did the same, although it was kind of out of my time. Like, if you know what I mean. Yeah. The show that I do kind of miss that they, uh, they took away way too soon and really did their, Fox did their best to kill it, was Extreme Ghostbusters. It had really good writing. And actually, if you stuck with the characters, they actually grew pretty well. Even Eduardo turned into a pretty decent character. And goodbye. I mean, um, Dan Aykroyd wrote the movies, right? But did yeah. he have anything to do with the series as well? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. I know that he wrote... Him and Harold Ramis wrote the game. Hmm, yes. And I think he I'm... also wrote Sanctum of Slime, so they are canon. I mean, uh... The Go Ghostbusters the video game plays like such a... It plays like it would be Ghostbusters 3, the movie. Basically. Which is one of the things I love about it. That I think that was basically their intent on that. Was it supposed to be the third Ghostbusters movie? I mean, I know it takes place in 1991, so huge nostalgia factor there. Yeah, and unfortunately, Ghostbusters 3 is uh, put on ice right now. Yeah, the actual movie. Yeah. That's not surprising. I'll honestly be surprised if that movie sees the light of day. I know. I hope it does come to the light, but I'm seriously not surprised that it's not coming right now. I mean, it's yeah. been on and off for so long. Well, it's one of those things that hopefully they will get it going when they can get it going, because that's going to be awesome. Yeah, as long as... because as long as they do it justice... I mean, if they're not going to do it justice, then I'd prefer they don't do it at all. Well, it's a case of let Dan Aykroyd write it. Which he's doing. And yeah. he, right now he's got it on ice because um, Bill Murray says he doesn't want to do it right now. Ah. And that's why it's on ice. Hey, if that's the only reason why it's on hold, then let's wait until Bur Bill Murray's ready. Yeah, if he ever, if he's ever ready. This is a, this is one of the movies that made him a superstar. I don't yeah. think he's going to pass it up. Especially since Dan Aykroyd convinced him to lend his voice to the video game. <laughs> I mean, come on. Bill Murray is not a video game voice actor. And he took a chance on this game. And it worked out extremely well. Yeah. So, there you go. Ghostbusters is going to be a huge nostalgia factor for me, so I'm definitely going to be doing it in the future. Fair enough. Back to the Future, that's Rezos. Granted, it would be a huge nostalgia factor for me, but it's a point-and-clicky game, so he can have it. <laughs> um, some point in the future, I'll be doing Metroid Other M. I don't know when. So many games to do. Well, yeah, that's why I buy games nowadays. Aside from I like mm -hmm. to play. Oh, this part. Where did he go? Uh, what? You just saw him go into the ceiling, right? I'm not sure what I saw. Super Rat. He tunnels <laughs> through the ground. That's a scary thought, man. We're just we're just gonna leave Super Rat alone. Hey, at any moment a rat's gonna just come flying out of the wall into your face. See, it wasn't really the Dragonborn that defeated Alduin. It was Super Rat. <laughs> and his army of burrowing rats. No, just Super Rat. Just the one? Yep. All by him, look. 
all by his lonesome. Hey, he defeated the Dovahkiin. Was something we discussed? <laughs> well, it's about time. I had to start We're done screwing you over. Finished. You'll just have to wait. Yeah, and I'm really glad that I got finished. half I up front because that's all I'm must. getting paid. <laughs> why should? Why don't you have a drink, good sir? <laughs> have a drink. Well, I've got the only hunting brew mead left that's untainted. How about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine that's <sighs> sifted and savored. Though I'm surprised. We poisoned the vat like By the eight. five, ten minutes ago. What's in this? And then it's in that barrel? I don't know. What's wrong? <laughs> Uh, you never know. There could be like some secret pipes going to it from a brewery. Turns out he's really advanced and nobody really knows it. <laughs> and no one will now. No, certainly not. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. Bye bye, you. Sabinyarn. You come in with me to Dragon's Reach. I'll miss but you. Don't the drop the soap. No. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Look, I assure you this uh, is. This is one of the more understand. satisfying ones. I said. Move. Farewell, Sabinyarn. Where, where somebody kind of gets their just desserts. Oh, yeah, because this guy's a jerk to even before this. Hmm. I don't think that could have gone any better. I agree. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's <gasps> office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Remember to put in a good word with Maven. I'm not really concerned about the lunatic in the tunnels, and I'm not really concerned with asking what he's going to do at this place. I don't care. Why should you, to be honest? If he wants to turn this place into a brothel, let him. <laughs> you know, there's got to be one of those around Skyrim somewhere. If there isn't, there should be, and someone needs to make that mod. <laughs> oh, I'm sure somebody's already made it by now. There's gotta be somebody who's made one by now. They've made the naked people mod. They've made the sexy clothing mod. But I don't think there, they've made a brothel mod yet. There's a dancing mod as well. Oh, yeah, I've seen the dancing mod. Want. <laughs> So and it's not a brothel, then a disco of some sort? No. Mm, yeah. Nightclub. Well, okay, a nightclub, but yeah. Okay, hey Maven, we're here to talk to you. As soon as I stop being hung up on this wall. I trust you have good news for me? Job's finished. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Uh huh. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Orcish sword of siphoning? You call that more than adequate? Lady, I should sorf I should siphon this sword up your ass. I'm not really sure what to make of that comment. And lag. Uh, okay. And going the wrong way. Whoops. It happens. Oh well. 
I mean, sometimes I'm wandering around Skyrim, and then about 15 minutes later, I realize, oh, wait, I was supposed to be going somewhere. <laughs> what am I doing? Just sightseeing. Wait, I was that supposed to be saving the world? So oh. That happens to me so much in Assassin's Creed, actually. Where oh, yeah. I've got an objective to do, and then about 10 minutes in, I realize I've just been free running around in circles doing nothing. <laughs> I think that happens more in the latest Assassin's Creed than it does in any other. It, I did notice it when I was uh, replaying Assassin's Creed Revelations. Prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important oh, have you heard the news about Mass Effect 3? And this is beyond coincidence. The extended cut ending Aragoth. is now out? And now yeah, Sanyo. they added endings to Mass Someone's Effect 3. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between yes. Maven and the guild. With Actual further explanations endings. to Mercer try and satisfy what everybody wanted. This new Actual endings side. that aren't just color-coded copies. Right and if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never and seen there, this angry I mean, before. there are people who... I know we're asking specifically for what they've provided, what EA and Bioware have just given out. Yeah. People were asking specifically for that, and those people are still complaining. Of course they are. Ah, it's just there like, you are. I want to punch you I in the face. My contacts That's regarding because the they're morons and nothing is ever good enough. No one can identify that symbol. Yeah. But to me, it it's, oh, Bioware realized they shipped a game without actually adding an ending, by angry and Maven they just Black gave us the Rider. ending. Very clever. Thank you, Bioware. Faith yeah, restored. Enough. Don't dismiss our adversary so easily. Honestly, I'm funded, probably one of the few patient, people that didn't have really have a problem with the ending. Identification for years. Mm. However, don't mistake my, my initial thought on the endings was they were pretty cool, but I chose the synthesis ending, which turns out to be the uh, canon ending, apparently. Because even oh. after all their posturing and well, if you've actually taken a look at them, a mistake. they really push the that particular ending hard. A gajal lie, according to my sources. Mm, fair enough. I mean, by one of our I'm always torn between two of the endings. Which ones? And I, I, I don't really want to give spoilers, but Anyone? I'll use the color endings. Should I use the color endings? Yeah, you just use endings? the color. I'm torn between the red ending and the green ending. Ah. Get out there, shake him down. Yeah, I think you probably know why. Talk to Yeah. Before you leave, if you have any. I can see why, and they're both legit endings. Then again, yeah. technically, every ending in Mass Effect is canon. Mm-hmm. Although, we'll see when the novels come out, because those are the final authority on what is and is not canon. That's true. Unless they choose multiple beginnings for those novels. Um, from what I've seen, no, they don't. I wouldn't have been surprised if hey, they man. did. I want to talk to you. And, uh... You're pretty tough. I respect that. From what I've heard, Bring Liara like is the canon you. love interest. Making us look good, too. Ha! Let me know if you so I made a good choice then. Okay. <laughs> well, they kind of pushed that hard in Mass Effect 1 and 2, anyways. Really? In Mass Effect 1, I would have thought this. they put. That they really seem to push for Ashley or Caden. From they what I saw. They seem to, he could but... stand a beggar out of his last septum. But he's no master. By Mass Effect 2, it was. Very clear that they chosen Liara as the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work because, cut like, out for you. in Mass Effect One, it was just You're going as a male ship. As soon as you uh, get, get back on the ship, it Ashley's just all in your face. Follow him and see Oh hi, exactly. I'm Ashley. How Follow are you Gullamon. doing? He's Actually, head. I can be see why that happened rapid. because you just saved her ass. Eh, I'm that's true. But what, but what methods. would be the excuse for Caden and uh, Femsha? Contact at the Same East thing. Company before we had the entire story. Just he went through really a horrible experience together, and they just to came through it. He can't scrape off his boot. Yeah, that would be kind of the same thing with the R, though. Initially, at least. Good Initially, in but it grows from there. Yeah.
Especially if you do the DLC content for Mass Effect 2, which is damn near required for the best ending in Mass Effect 3. Are you talking about uh, Shadow Broker? Yes. Shadow Broker oh. content. So worth it. To join the oh, it is. And if not, I don't know, some people save it for like here. towards the when end. I like recommend doing it as soon as you can. Oh, yeah. It's because it helps so much with mining. Oh yeah, so much. the extra stuff that Liara can chuck your way, so worth it. And the dialogue bits from uh, Mass Effect 3, if you helped her become the Shadow Broker, so nice. <laughs> yeah. Ah, hello Gullamai. So, what do we have How you here? doing? Hmm, let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very you know, little about even that. for an Argonian, this guy's kind of slimy. <laughs> maybe I did, maybe I did. Hey, watch it, my I character's Argonian. Remember every deal well, given the other Argonian that's in this town that you can interact with... I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's... Yeah, you do meet some nice time, Argonians. Uh, this is true. Throughout the game, but well, they... Admittedly, they it, are kind of scarce. There is something I've been trying to get my yeah. hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Although, wine. There just so happens to be a single case. The, the nasty house. ones only seem to Bring crop to up in we'll the big cities. About Golden Glow Estate. That's where they scam people. Probably. Any Argonian that seems to be out of the big city seems to be a lot nicer. Oh well. Hi. Being old is not so bad. Keeps me fed. For a second there, I thought it, I saw a dragon. It seems more so in Skyrim that they seem to give um, the different races specific roles. Yeah. I mean, in Oblivion, the characters were much more diverse, where you just have. You could just have every race as just a general role. Like, yeah. with no specific moral traits or anything like that. No common moral traits, I want to say. Well, think about where Elder Scrolls Oblivion takes place. Hmm, yes. It is in the literal metropolitan heart of the Empire. So, the melting pot of effect is very much in effect. And also, Skyrim, there seems to be uh, a hint of racism going on. A hint? <laughs> it's me being nice to them. No, oh, there's a ton of racism in this one. Oh, yeah. Kind of understandable given the culture that Skyrim is around. But, uh, still, it's there. And there's no real excuse for it anyways. No. I mean, um, one time I was thinking of joining up with the Stormcloaks, uh -huh. and then some of the things coming out of his mouth is like, you know what, no, screw you. I am joining the, the Imperial Legion just because you said that. Yeah, although realistically, since the Dova King has a legit claim to the th to the Imperial throne, yeah, what's it matter who's on the throne of the High King of Skyrim? You're the Dova King. You own this land. I've just realized it sort of makes sense for me to be an Argonian Dova King. Oh, I look a bit like a dragon. Oh. Well, in in oh, Elder Scrolls, Dragonborn does not mean over, and we'll talk. what it know, would mean in D&D. &D. 
can't have the buyer getting I know. impatient. I'm just saying. Elsewhere for this like deal. Here, take this. It's just someone with the dragon soul. Can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Although it is Not so weird, like I consider it an investment. You hear, um, as far as like and glow with this Argonian, goes, you can hear a specific you sort of voice with him. Mm -hmm. But when you dragon shout, wanted me to it's, act as the it's all the same. It's like a Nordic Usurda. She flashed yeah. a bag of gold in my face. It's so weird. Why are you not saying it in a raspy Argonian voice? I brought well, the why aren't you saying it in a raspy Khajiit voice when you use a Khajiit? Not at all. Same thing. I tend not yeah. to ask too many questions. I don't know why the they didn't do that. I'm sure. You Although understand. Khajiit for unarmed well, fighters are I did freaking broken. She was quite angry. <laughs> it was being directed at Mercer Frey. It's okay. Broken is fine. I'm in fine with broken. This is true. I have no problem with being able to beat a dragon to death with my bare with hands. Bare claws. That's all I know. I never promised you I'd have hey, all the answers. The way my Khajiit character now, is, since I, I almost have bear done, claws. I'll be on my way. <laughs> so I beat him to death with my bare hands. You again? You we mean you were unarmed? No, I mean I used bare hands. <laughs> I can almost imagine that as a weapon where you, <laughs> they've turned bear claws into gloves or something. Yeah. So okay. Modding community, make bare hands. That would be badass. Badass. We're giving you instructions now. So many good ideas here, modders. Come watch this, you get so many good ideas. Oh yes. Um, hi. Wasn't in and your then... way, was I? Oh well. I think after this particular mission is done, we will call it quits for this episode. Fair enough. And I love how my character looks with this mixture of armor. It's a good mixture. Yeah, the thief armor on one side. Oh, hi. Staying safe, I hope. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, hi there. And that's just lavender. I don't want lavender. Doop 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 do. I know exactly where he's going, but I can't get there ahead of him. It kind of sucks. <laughs> but sneaking yeah, but you're leveling up your sneak. That's a good thing. Yeah. Except when I'm getting detected by random people just watching me sneak on by. <laughs> Although, from what I hear, at higher levels, I think past 70, you don't ever have to worry about detected, detected, detected. Yeah, fair enough, though. You're level 70. Although, sometimes it doesn't make really much sense when you're you're kneeling in front of them and still not detected. <sighs> it's like, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm only at belt height. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to rob you or anything. It's also fantastic how um, you can basically window shop their pockets. Yeah. And it's fine. Eek. Just take take a peek in their pockets. Don't worry, I'm just looking. It's okay. Don't just mind look me. Just screw off. Yeah, you got nothing I want. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't worry, I'm <laughs> just looking. I haven't stolen anything yet, so you can't run to the guards. And what's no even stuff. better is, under normal circumstances, if you add something, it doesn't make them upset. What? Wait. What if you add, like, a horse's head? Uh, if you could get a horse head item. <laughs> but yeah, like, add gold to their inventory or anything else to their inventory. They're cool with it. Well, who would who would complain if it was gold, though? Yeah. I mean, if it was like, um. I could just imagine some. Like some master pickpocket reverse thief. Goes to people and adds stuff to their inventory. I've never tried it, but. Is it in Skyrim that if you add. 
if you go into pickpocketing and then put like poison in their pocket, does that poison them? I don't know. I mean, that's definitely in a game that I've played, but I'm not I, sure which game. I think that's in Elder Scrolls 4, but I don't know if that's in Skyrim. Okay. Be I very, will very try and quickly see. Well, you got time. Got to be careful. I think there's only one instance where I actually have to kill a guard in here. Well, you can apparent um as part of pickpocketing, you can apparently silently kill people with poisons. Huh. So I'm assuming that means you go into pickpocket, drop a poison in their pouch, and then walk off and they'll get poisoned. <laughs> that is awesome. I am going Just to one abuse way to the hell out of people. that later. It'll certainly be interesting to see. Oh, yes. It's a pity... Okay, there's definitely another game where... He where you can uh, just drop off explosives in there. Uh, oh, it was it was Fallout, wasn't it? Fallout, yes. where you just um, you go into yeah, your pocket, you, you drop a explosive in their pocket, and then walk away, and they'll blow up or something like that, right? So apparently, they reused the Fallout Three and New Vegas mechanic, where you could drop stuff in their inventory and cause it to do them damage. Hmm. Fair enough, it's hilarious to watch. <laughs> Here, have a grenade. <laughs> Without the pin. I give you a gift of TNT. Lit. I'll even light it for you. <laughs> no extra charge. Here, have this landmine I found, thunk. <laughs> Can you just imagine that? Some guy walking up to someone else and stuffing a landmine down their pants. <laughs> Here, have this, thunk. What the beep, sort of imagine, beep, beep, boom. <laughs> I can sort of imagine someone walking around with a, a lit stick of dynamite just going up to a person. You mind holding this for me? Thanks. Walks away. <laughs> Here, hold this. I can imagine boom. that. That's gotta be one of the best April Fool's jokes or something ever. Where a random stranger's just like, What do I do with this? What do I do? <laughs> uh, oh, hello, troll fat. I'll have that, and that. And there's no way for me to get past there. Okay, fine. Not without becoming a little bit obvious now. Yeah. Um, hi. Please go away. Go away before I fine. think at this I think at this part you're supposed to go onto the ship and try and snipe him. Ah, oh well. You did not see me. You really didn't you did see not me. See you. you don't see anything now. This is not the assassin you're looking for. <laughs> you keep your armor. This is not the assassin slash stick slash thief you're looking for, brother. You can keep your armor. I don't want it. <laughs> An assassin thief mage. Okay, time to... Uh-oh. Did, did you hit him? No, I missed and clattered the arrow. Uh. Nothing suspicious, really. Go away, please. Okay, now we just gotta find follow Gajal Lai. Do you ever do any of the quests that Vex and the others in the Thieves Guild can give you? Um I think I did one. I definitely did one, but I don't remember what it was. I don't do any of their quests. Yeah. I mean... 
I did the one and then realized that it was kind of just boring and inconsequential. That's why I just didn't do any anything else. Well, hi, Tripwire. You know, just once I wish you could set up a trap for the, the NPCs. Aeronautical sure does love showing up on my show. <laughs> and dead. Nice. Got them both in one shot, unlike those stupid guards. Yeah, you could keep that arrow. Have you had Resso show up on your on one of your no, I uh, have episodes not. yet? I have not. He's usually not on XPL. He's usually on PSN. Which I don't ever go on to. Yeah, I really wouldn't know I don't have PSN. Same thing. And that's one dumbass down. And that's two. Oh wait. Now it's two. Yeah, now it is. Mm -hmm. Keep your. You can keep the arrows. They're free. I'll take <laughs> that one back, though. Didn't look like you wanted it, anyways. I don't think any of them ever do, really. Oh, I keep giving out free samples, but no one ever buys. I'm the loneliest arrow salesman ever. There was the one guy who asked asked if he could pass an arrow, but um. He strangely went silent shortly after. Yeah. All right. That person looks like they're interested. Here, have another one. On the house. <laughs> oh, you want to share? See, I can share arrows. He's he wants to compare arrows. He thinks his is, his are better, but um. Yeah, uh, they're not. Yeah, he was he was corrected very quickly there. Yeah. See, iron arrows can't do anything with iron arrows. What are you thinking? <laughs> I did you a favor. Okay, for some reason detection really doesn't matter if the, if the torch sconces are there or not. I really never paid them much heed to be honest, but then again, you know me, I'm, I'm not the uh, sneaking sort. I am. And sneak and snipe. Dunk. The old sneak and snipe. Oh. And done. Okay. And he wants to give me the... No, he doesn't. Huh. Oh, well. I'll take that arrow back. You only get... You only get one and you look like you weren't all that interested. They were it's both funny just how interested. It's funny how the culture in Skyrim haven't invented crossbows yet. Yeah. Oh, oh. I would have thought that's one thing that gets introduced in the DLC. Oh, it is. Yep. Crossbows are finally introduced. Oh, about damn time. Yeah. No kidding. So that'll certainly make yeah. things interesting. Hello. Ow. Gave me a headache. I do not need to have spiky balls on my face. <laughs> the game it's, begs to differ. Especially ones with strawberry jam. They're strawberry jam filled. <laughs> Just makes a mess. Yeah. Nobody wants nobody wants strawberry jam all over their clothes. Yeah, and for some reason every time Every time someone hits me with something, it's always got it's always filled with strawberry jam and it always gets all over my face. And then it it's surprisingly hard to get out of your clothes. Strawberry jam, you never really would have thought about it. And that's one free arrow. Two free arrows. And a level up. Congrats. Yay! Three free arrows. And that one wanted to keep it. <laughs> and so did that one. My job as did an arrow salesman is doing well. 
Oh, you're an arrow salesman. Of course. I thought you were a death dealer. No, 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 no. I deal death on the side. Ah, uh, okay. See, see, when when I'm not using my bow, then I'm a death dealer. But when I'm using my bow, then I'm an arrow salesman. Does uh, is a death deal does a death dealer get paid well? Uh, you've done the Dark Brotherhood quest. You tell me. <laughs> I wasn't in it for the money. Sure, you weren't. I honestly wasn't, to be honest. Hey, hey, come here. Now there's no need to do anything rash. Hey, buddy. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. Mercer doesn't have to know. I see you wish to be reasonable. Perhaps I misjudged you. The name of the person you want is Carlia. Uh, who? Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her why? Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. No, I don't. I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Okay, whatever. <laughs> now to steal everything of worth in this area. Hello. Doesn't seem to be Ooh, much. Orcish arrows. Upgrade. <laughs> it's a pity he didn't get a chance to use them. Yeah, well, that's her loss, not mine. That just means I get more arrows. This is true. Okay, what do we have? Ooh, hello, Diabella statue. I'll take that. Nice. Gold. Twelve gold. Big chest. Weirdos. It seems. It does seem like a bit of a waste of a, a, a chest. Yeah, especially since we know exactly how big 12 gold pieces are. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. What could possibly be in this chest? We might not find... Yeah, <laughs> screw it. Not gonna find out. Not when the game's giving me that much trouble. Okay, and I know there's much. a back way out of here. Did I miss the switch somewhere back here? No. There's a back way out. Oh yeah, there's a back way out. Oh, I remember now. I gotta go flip three switches. I think I only need to flip one of them, but... Uh, yeah, There's that's three the back there, way so you out. might as well switch one of them. One. That's not it. Two. That's it. Okay, there we go. The only bad I'm thing about... I'm trying to remember if I ever noticed that or not. The only bad thing about this is the Horkers. Which, granted, are okay for sneak damage. Yeah, it's fine. You're and... fine. Thunk. Nice. Oh well, at least I'm not wasting ancient Nord arrows on them. Just steal ones. Oh, wow. And I'm insta-killing them. That should tell you something. And we're back to the Thieves Guild. Yay for speed traveling. Gotta say, I'm a big fan of secret entrances. <laughs> I am really a big fan of secret entrances. I love them. Only when they're done right, though. If it's just like a shabby old bookshelf, then it's kind of boring. Okay. It's, it's overdone. What overdone. Did you need a second? Oh, okay. Brynjolf doesn't want to talk to us. Until next we meet, love. <laughs> All right. Where is the bastard? 
Oh, he's over here. Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? We meet again, Mercer. No, it, it can't yes. be. Yes, yes we do. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. Of course she did. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. Uh, we watched each you other were spats. partners. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be. A place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Lovely. And we get a new piece of armor, so let's go do that first. <laughs> and then we'll go travel with Mercer Frey, which should be <coughs> fun. Oh yeah, it'll be grand old time. Me and my buddy Mercer. Yeah. My old friend Mercer. Well, looks uh, like you're fitting in well down here. Yes, I am. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. You know, in all so the things that I've done in Skyrim, I still haven't done this. Of course. Otherwise, it wouldn't be much of a reward. Oh, trade in your here. guild armor? Your new yeah. piece will enhance your just... skill beyond that of the original. <laughs> I keep, Trust me. I keep meaning to do it. And then whenever I'm down here in Are you sure? uh, the Once ratways, I it for you, I'm not taking it back. Damn it, I forgot to bring a, a piece of armor. Oops. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now our Thieves Guild armor should be way better, actually. Yeah, 35 points rather than 20. Nice stuff, nice stuff. Indeed. Let's finally level up. I was wondering when you were going to get around to that. Eventually. Maybe. It was going to happen. Okay. That requires plenty. Um, Sneak. Sneak leveled up, didn't it? Yes, I believe so. Oh, ho, ho. Assassin's Blade. Yes. This game is this game is going to start getting very easy very quickly. Oh yes. Silent roll will be handy next level. But I think we'll save that for next time. So this is Man in the Black Hat. And Obsessed Games. We'll see you next time for more Let's Play Skyrim on Rezo Walkers.com. I'm one of the lookouts. Bye.